Welcome back everyone. We have covered the Buff and Shine line of pads from foam to microfiber to the Uracell and we've covered them in great detail. We're going to put those to bed. We're going to hop on over to the Lake Country manufacturing pads. We're going to start with the Forest hybrid foam pads. Uh, they sort of fit uh, what we do here the most. Uh, they are geared towards forced rotation, gear driven machines such as the Flex 3401, the rotary, which I love, and some other ones that are coming out. I know Rupez has one coming out if it's not already uh, a force rotation. So I also noticed they, they, they are very effective on short throw polishers and little uh, three inch polishers such as the Flex XFE 80. So without further ado, let's take a look. The Lake Country force pads come with two main players, the orange cutting and the white polishing but you can go beyond on each side you can go the gray extreme cut the black finish and wax and sealant application the pad itself has a thick dense structure it's meant to keep the compound or the polish near the surface of the pad so it stays in between the pad and the surface of your vehicle it's when it gets absorbed by many pads out there that you run into trouble you can see here it's thick it's about just under inch and a quarter Great on rotaries. The obvious beveled edge serves a couple purposes. It gives it a very nice, controlled, smooth ride. It's firm. It also keeps the backing plate inside the pad itself. Important when you're working up against an edge or an emblem or a mirror or something like that and you want to keep the plate from doing any kind of damage whatsoever. Its thickness also helps with that as well. We'll get into that a little bit later. Those who may be new to a rotary definitely want to team it up with this pad. There are some out there that may make it jump a bit, go out of control. Team it up with this one. You're going to have a nice, smooth, level, controlled ride. Keep the speed low. Keep the pressure light. And it'll be very effective. If you do happen to apply pressure, which is no reason to, you can see here, it keeps the tool nice and upright and stable. But that's not necessary if you think a dense foam structure raises temperature well we're going to debunk that a little bit in a future video i'm going to put it up against uh, different pads with open cell and we'll take the temperature of the panel with both pads we'll take care of that in the future the pads also work great on pneumatic uh, rotaries the little three inch polisher that i have here uh, you team that up with this silver pad or the gray pad here which has very coarse foam structures to it you're going to do some very quick very effective cutting with this kind of power coming from the team of a pneumatic polisher nonetheless a rotary teamed up with this pad which has extra cut to it you got to keep the tool moving nice steady movement no pressure is needed. Another benefit of the beveled edge, and we're going to put it on the Flex XFE80 here for this demonstration, is if you're going up against an edge like the mirror here, the bottom end or the surface of the pad is going to hit against the, the surface or the edge or whatever you're working up against first before anything else. It's going to keep that backing plate away and greatly reducing the chances of any kind of damage whatsoever and even a smaller percentage of the pad is going up against that edge if that makes sense because of the beveled edge. Although not recommended on a long throw polisher, which tends to lean towards the thinner pads, this short throw polisher is very effective with both the cutting pad, the orange, and the white polishing and the black finishing. This torque is well balanced to begin with. You add Lake Country force pad to it. You could practically guide it with two fingers. Not recommended, by the way. Although this little polisher here is not forced rotation, you are able to take care of some medium to light blemishes or swirls by putting on the orange cutting pad.
Remove any residue, switch over to the white polishing pad. Then you can go to the black finishing pad or apply a wax or sealant. Even this black uh, finishing pad or application pad here is a bit stiffer than others due to its thickness and what kind of machine it's gonna get attached to. This step here, utilize the pad, finish to whatever clarity you're looking for, jewel it, whatever you wanna do, then apply a wax or a sealant and you're good to go. You'll be happy with the price, you'll be happy with the performance, and you'll definitely be happy with the results. Okay, I will put a link down below for the force pads. We're also going to cover other foam pads, microfiber cutting pads, and more. So we'll get into that in the future. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. I'll catch you in the next video.